Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Nook tablet, which is a 7-inch Android tablet that comes normally with a custom version of Google Android from Barnes & Noble that's designed to interact with the Barnes & Noble Bookstore and Barnes & Noble App Store, but this particular model is running CyanogenMod 7, which has just been released for the Nook tablet. Uh, this is still alpha software, there still may be some bugs. Uh, for instance, some people have noticed a problem with the SD card not being recognized immediately. You might have to pop it out and pop it back in. Um, but for the most part, everything seems to, all the, all the big features seem to work. Audio works, touch works, video acceleration works. So I'm just going to give you a quick, uh, tutor or a quick uh, overview of what happens here. You can find a step-by-step -step tutorial for installing CyanogenMod on uh, lilliputing.com. Um, but this is a Android 2.3 experience which feels much more like what you would get with a typical Android phone or uh, older Android tablets and it lets you run most Android applications. So, for instance, we've got the web browser here. I'm actually using the Dolphin HD web browser and we've got a pretty quick experience here and you should be able to get web video working as well. So that's video playing from a website. Audio does work. I just uh, turned it down for the purposes of shooting this video. Uh, we can also go to the YouTube application and watch video this way. It supports high quality video from YouTube. And we can go to the Netflix application and watch videos from there. So overall, audio and video quality is pretty good, um, but you can do most of those things using the standard software that comes with it as well. Uh, what's really special here is that you've got these customizations including um, home, back, menu, search buttons, and notification area at the bottom, which is using the uh, Android tablet tweaks from CyanogenMod. Um, we can install third-party applications such as the Google Android Market, which lets us install more third-party applications, and so we can access apps, music, books, movies uh, from the Android market, and we can install third-party keyboards. So here I'm actually using the TouchPal keyboard, which lets you drag your finger from place to place to uh, access, to uh, enter text instead of lifting your finger from the keyboard. Um, or you can use the default Android keyboard if you like. I personally prefer TouchPal, although I find it a little bit easier to use on a phone than on a tablet. Um, Google Maps works. And you can see here that it does support two-finger gestures as well. And you can install the Barnes & Noble Shop, uh, or Barnes & Noble Nook application if you like, so that you can access magazines, books, and other content that you uh, have available. So I can download a magazine that I've previously downloaded, or books, and uh, let's just grab a quick book here. So you, you don't have access to the Barnes & Noble shop for apps, so if you've purchased apps using the default software, you're not going to be able to access them here necessarily, but you should be able to read books using the Barnes & Noble app. Uh, at the same time, you can also install the Amazon Kindle app if you like, and do the same thing. Uh, I actually think the Nook app is a little bit more attractive and easier to use here, but uh, you have access to them both. And if you want to install third-party app stores, such as the Amazon Kindle App Store, you can do that as well. So overall, it's a, it's a pretty good experience, and it's, uh, it includes root access, so you've got super user and ROM manager and so forth. And... Uh, yeah, so it's it's pretty cool. There's also this, you know, the phone application is built in here, but it doesn't make phone calls. Uh, the Nook tablet has a microphone but no camera, so you can't use the camera application. Uh, if you want, you can turn it into a big clock, I suppose. Uh, there's support for changing the backgrounds, so I'm using the default uh, Cyanogen Mod wallpaper right now, but you can change it to other looks if you like. This is one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, so so basically, it's a two hundred and forty nine dollar tablet, which was designed by Barnes and Noble uh, to work with Barnes and Noble services. And you can still use it to read ebooks from Barnes and Noble. But if you want to open up the experience to the Android market and uh, have more customization settings, you can do that this way. Um, I'll give you a quick peek at how you would go about installing this.
But again, you can go to lulaputing.com for more details here. But basically, you need to uh, install Clockwork Mod Recovery on the tablet, and once you've done that, you can download the latest custom ROM, in this case, Cyanogen Mod 7 Alpha 12, and use Clockwork Mod Recovery to install it. And you can also use Clockwork Mod to make a backup or restore your system. So in this case, we can go in here, say Backup and Restore, and then create a complete backup of Cyanogen Mod so that I can then restore back to the Barnes & Noble software if I like, or vice versa. Um, so there's the Backup and Restore options, or I can use the volume keys to navigate, choose Install Zip from SD Card, and I'm having one of those instances where it doesn't recognize the SD card, so I'm going to open this up, pop it out, pop it back in, choose from SD card, and then you scroll down here till you find CM7NT Alpha 12 Public 1, and you just go ahead and click to install that and select yes, and that'll go ahead and install it. So if you're starting with a different set of software, you can use Clockwork Mod to um, install Cyanogen Mod, or you can use Clockwork Mod to install other custom ROMs. Eventually we'll probably see Android 4.0 and, and other software on here, but right now Android 2.3 is about as good as it gets. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at Cyanogen Mod 7 running on the Nook tablet.